Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Saturday the 23rd of July. Following Robert Murray McShane's reading scheme, today one of the chapters we read is Mark chapter 5, which begins with the story of Jesus and the Gerasene demoniac, a man who was demon-possessed and nobody could do anything with him. And he ended up being driven by the demons out to the burial area, to the tombs, living in the mountains, and completely out of control. As Jesus arrives, he engages with a man, and there's a legion of demons in him. And he tell, tells them to come out, and he allows them to go into a herd of pigs, which rushes down into the lake and drowns. Um, the pig keepers rush off to the town and tell everyone what has happened, and they come out, and they see the man sitting there, completely in his right mind, calm, engaged, speaking normally, rationally, completely restored. The man is there, but the pigs aren't. <laughs> and, uh, we have the end of the section, verse 17. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave their region. And it's always been a puzzling thing. He has this, this man that's come, and that has made such a difference. He's restored this man who nobody could do anything with. He, 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 and he's well. He's able to reintegrate into society. What a difference he's made. And, and you want Jesus to leave? And as I was thinking about that, I thought, maybe they've actually seen the truth. And they recognize, if Jesus stays, everything is going to be turned on its head. Everything's going to be different. You're going to have to redo all sorts of things. Jesus will disrupt your entire lifestyle and all you do in your business. And they really don't want that. They'd rather he goes. And we forget that Jesus never meets people and leaves them the same. He always changes people for the better, but there's always change. And I think our world today is quite happy to have a little bit of Jesus added on, a little bit of religion. You don't want to be too extreme about it. That's, that's fine. Um, and we'll have uh, the nice ceremonies and say a few prayers and the nice words and everything. But actually having Jesus present and listening to him and letting him change us is not something people generally want. And like the people in the Gerasenes, the response is, please leave. And what we've done in society is just kept Jesus in the margins. He can stay as long as he's on the edges, doesn't make any noise, doesn't bother anyone, doesn't ask us to change. He's welcome, otherwise let him go. And as I thought about it, I thought, those people, it's completely understandable what they did. It's what people do all the time. And as we encounter Jesus, as we pray, Lord Jesus, come to us, fill us, We've got to recognize that's always an, an invitation for Jesus to change us. So um, be challenged by that, but know that the change is always for the best. And we pray, Jesus, be with us. Jesus, change us, we pray. Be blessed.